so I was setting up a new project today and in this project let me make this a little bigger in this project I decided to use view for my client however I ran into a slight little bit of a hiccup uh, with my NeoVim config trying to get uh, um, language server features working correctly with Vue. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm actually in this project. Let's go into the client and let's open up one of my Vue files. Let's just go into the app.vue. So what the issue I was having is essentially the LSP wasn't recognizing Hello World. So let's go GD. So you can see there's obviously no ability to resolve the definitions for Hello World, that component. Um, and so I was like, oh shoot, well this stinks. I, I want to use Vue. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write apps with a Vue. Um, so if I'm going to use NeoVim, I need to figure this out. So turns out there's a couple steps I need to take and I thought I'd show you just in case you find yourself... Uh, in this situation too. Um, let's see. Quit all. Quit. Whoops. You can tell I'm still, I'm still a NeoVim noob here. Okay, so what we need to do to get our configuration working is the first thing we need to do is we need to edit our MVim config. And so the first thing we need to do is we actually need to install um, another language server. So in this case, I have um, the TS, the TypeScript language server already set up. So if we come down here in my LSP config, you can see I have, or I just passed it. I can see I'm already setting up the TypeScript language server, which is good. Um, but I need to actually add a plugin with this language server called Vo Volar, which is uh, basically it's the Vue language server. So I need to install that language server first. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use Mason. So uh, these instructions might not be super helpful if you don't have quite the same configuration, but I'm using Mason to do some of my package management. And so I'm going to go ahead and open Mason and I'm going to switch over to tab number two. And I'm going to go down here to the available ASPs, ASPs, LSPs, I mean, the, the available LSPs. I'm going to go all the way down to the Vs. And I should find the Vue language server is what it's called in Mason, but it's actually Volar. So Volar is the language server. And I believe, I believe this is something that Vue builds and maintains if I'm... Um, if I'm not mistaken, but I honestly, I'm honestly not a hundred percent certain who builds it and who maintains it, but this is the language server you need in order to make the TypeScript LSP play nicely with view files. So let's go back here and in Mason, we are going to install it by obviously highlighting it and then uh, typing I. And so now if we jump back up to the top, we should see view language servers installing here. And then once it's installed, it should be good. Now, that doesn't fix all our problems because while we have the language server, um, our TypeScript language server doesn't know anything about it nor how to incorporate it. So that's where we have to adjust our TSLS configuration a little bit uh, to take into account that we're going to use that new language server we just installed. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get a path to the view language server. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to use the Mason registry. So we'll say local Mason registry. And this is just a nice way to use to be able to resolve the packages that Mason has installed um, without having to specify a literal path to it. So then we'll say, now that we have the registry, we can say uh, language, we can make another uh, local variable, we'll call it view language server. Could also call it maybe language server path um, if you wanted to be more literal. And then we're gonna call Mason register registry.get package. 
and we're going to pass in the name of our package, which in this case is not Volar, it's View Language Server. That's how it's referred to in the uh, in Mason. And then we're going to call one more method off the end of this guy that's going to be git install path, right? So this is actually the literal place where that package is installed. And then what we're going to do is we're going to specifically, we're going to get the actual language server we're interested in. So we're going to go into the node modules folder and we're going to go into the view folder. And we're specifically going to resolve the language server in that directory. And then with that, we have what we need to now configure our TypeScript language server. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to say init options. And Copilot's getting a little eager here. So let's actually, let's actually disable Copilot because Copilot is not helping us in this case. We're going to say init and then we're going to say plugins. And so this is where we're sort of extending the TS language server with our view language server. So now we're going to say uh, name of our plugin is going to be at view TypeScript plugin. And then we're going to say location equals. Hey, Boston Sports Cards. Good to see you, man. My day is going well. How's your day going? So now we're going to say, and then we're going to say location is view language server, right? Because that's the path we are, we found. Then we're going to say languages equal view, just like that. And then the last thing is we just want to specify some file types to make sure that the, this TS language server works for all the different file types. So we'll say TypeScript. We will say JavaScript. And then we want both the React versions of those. Um, so this will make it work in the JSX files. TypeScript, React. And then the one we need to add is View. So this will make it kick in and attach and respond to the opening of View files. So with all that set up, we should have what we need now to go ahead and uh, write quit all. And now what we should be able to do is we should be able to open up this same project that we just had open before. And we should be able to go to source, go to client, and we should be able to go back to that app.view file. And now my hope is that if we look at the LSP info, we should see, after a moment, we should see four clients attached. We have Copilot, we have NullLS, we have ESLint, and then obviously we have the uh, TLS. Um, so now I'm hoping that this TLS can resolve that import or at least get the definition, right? So now let's go back to hello world and we'll s type space GD and it takes us now to that actual hello world component. So now that means that, uh, the view, the Volar, uh, plugin or language server is now working with the TypeScript language server to actually give us all those nice LSP features within our view files, um, which now makes it possible uh, possible for us to have a nice development experience when working on view projects. So if you come up against this yourself, I hope this is helpful. I hope it helps you resolve it. I'll make sure and uh, put a link in the description um, to my configuration so you can see that for reference. And actually, while we're here, Let's go ahead and close, quit all out of this. Let's actually go to my config. We'll say git add, git commit, feature, make, view, play, noise. And I'll make sure and put that, uh, like I said, as a link in the description. Oh, I guess I need to pull in some changes. And I guess I need to actually resolve some of these any event that's not interesting to you i'll take care of that but yeah i hope this is helpful i hope that you uh get are able to use this to hopefully get your um uh, neovim setup working nicely to allow you to work with view files so